Okay, just waiting a couple more minutes before I get started. <clears throat> this is indeed the Yankees pregame show. So, very important game tonight. Rubber game against the Toronto Blue Jays up in up in Canada, the Toronto Rogers Center. So. Uh, here we go. Yep, big game tonight. Yankees better. Uh, it's a must win for sure. Uh, definitely make things a lot more uh, easier coming home before facing the Tampa Bay Rays at the stadium. So. So here we are. All right, guys, and good evening. It's the czar here. Uh, thanks for joining me here in the Yankees pregame show. Um, and before we get started, I'm going to actually uh, give you the Yankee lineup, which is out already. Well, it's been out, but um, here we go. Uh, they're leading off their baseman, DJ LeMayhew, batting second, first baseman, Anthony Rizzo, batting third and right field, Aaron Judge. Uh, Batting cleanup, playing left field, John Carlos Stanton. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Designated hitter, Gary Sanchez in center field, Brett Gardner. Batting eighth, shortstop, Gio Urshela. And batting ninth, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And pitching for the New York Yankees is right handed, right -handed pitcher, Corey Kluber. And, um, and yes, I know you probably see um, No Gallo tonight. Um, you know, you know, he got hit on the in the left forearm last night, um, so he's not in the lineup tonight. And but uh, X-rays and CAT scans were all negative, so that's good news there. Um, he will be available off the bench if necessary. Um, other uh, news here, injury updates here. Luke Voigt has been placed on the IL with a knee injury. Uh, Albert Abreu has been called up. And Luke Voigt, unfortunately, uh, you know, tough break for him. Uh, this might be the last time we see him in a Yankee uniform. Who knows? Or at least last time he, uh, he'll get to play. Uh, you know, he struck out last night. I know the ball, uh, he, which, I, you know, goes. You didn't, he didn't have to run. Uh, so it's too bad. I know he ran, and all of a sudden you see him, like, you know, kind of like limping off the field a bit. And, uh, yeah, so tough break for him. And uh, I think, you know, my personal opinion, my, my gut tells me uh, we will not see Luke Voigt play another game for the New York Yankees. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't, you have a unhappy Luke Voigt on the bench. And, you know, it's something that I feel like if the Yankees really, really wanted to trade him, they should have just, you know, traded him the trading deadline because that was your intention originally so um, so they will most likely look to move him this off season. and uh, so yeah here we go rubber game against the Jays uh, a must win uh, you know Corey, Glu Corey Kluber has to go out there you know hopefully his, his curveball his breaking ball is on tonight as uh, these uh, Toronto Blue Jays this lineup are all uh, dead fastball hitters and the uh, Key guys is, you know, Marcus Simeon, Vlad Guerrero Jr., and Bo Bichette. You know, you got to keep those guys under control tonight. I think that's the key to the game. Um, you know, obviously these guys have had monster seasons. So you really, really have to. Uh, these are the three guys that are here that scare me, that concern me. Um, you know, going up against Robbie Ray. You know, Robbie Ray, he's uh, battling for the... Cy Young Award, which I think uh, after last night's game, uh, Garrett Cole automatically has uh, taken himself out of the out of that race. You know, uh, pitched poorly. Uh, you know, the game last night really still bothers me. I think it was very, really, very important game to win. Uh, you know, a game uh, where you know you win. Okay, you know what? You would have won last night. I think you put yourself in a much better position, which, you know, that's what makes it tonight that much important. And, um, 
And yeah, Cole, uh, Gary Cole has not been himself lately. Uh, third uh, straight, third start in a row when you know he hasn't had had great stuff. So, so it's definitely a bit of a concern there. Um, so I mean, listen, I'm not ready to give up on that on Gary Cole at all. I mean, I'm nowhere near close to that. No, I I think uh, of uh, the amount of money that he's making. That all of a sudden, you know what? I expect him to throw a, a one hitter and you know a shutout every time out. But I mean, I expect something a little better. Which if he was, I think the Yankees probably win that game. And you know, the Yankees showed a lot of fight. You know, being down five to two, tied the game, clutch base hit by Kyle Higashioka to tie it, and uh, something I haven't seen earlier from this team, which is good. But uh, fortunately, we weren't able to get the win. Again, Bo Bichette, uh, two home runs, really uh, punishes us big time. So uh, that gave them life, and Jays probably needed to win more than the Yankees, but that's what makes it tonight that more important. So so let me give you some scenarios here of what would happen if the Yankees here, if the Yankees lose tonight, then all the pressure is on them to go out and uh, – and pretty much have to sweep the Tampa Bay Rays over the weekend, which I don't know how you're going to do that. You know, the Rays, are, you know, they might not be playing for anything here. However, they are going to go, going to want to win and play well, and certainly not going to look to do the Yankees any favors. As we know, these two teams do not like each other going back to last year with the whole Chapman and all that and the comments by Kevin Cash. So, so... And what does not favor the Yankees is the Blue Jays, after tonight, will be hosting the Baltimore Orioles for three games over the weekend. And the Red Sox go to D.C. for three games. Now, history tells you that, you know, Blue Jays will probably sweep the uh, Baltimore Orioles and the Red Sox will go to D.C. and win all those three games, which uh, leaves little, no room for error on the Yankees and having to win every all three games. That's why tonight is very important. You go, you win, take care of business tonight. Listen, Robbie Ray is a great pitcher. He's going to win the Cy Young. But then again, he is not Pedro Martinez in his prime. So Yankees get, get to him early, you know, make him work out there, you know, make him throw a lot of pitches. And get to that raise uh, that Jay, sorry, bullpen early, okay. Corey Kluber, you know, he's gonna be in a very short leash as well. So, gotta you know, match him, you know, zero throw up zeros up up there. And again, you know, and uh, you know, last night Stant came that much close, you know, hitting a two run home run. Um, so, you know, didn't do any damage last night. And how about Glaber Torres, who's had an uh, you know, had a nice game. It was three for four. Um, uh, Gio Urshela, you know, got things going there. And Brett Gardner and Kyle Higashioka with that clutch two-run single. So, yeah, expecting the same thing from our big guys, from our big boppers to do damage tonight. That's what it's going to carry this team if they are to do anything this year, anything special at least, is uh, you have to rely on those guys, you know. Anthony Rizzo and his great defense. You know, his bat has been okay. You know, he got a you know a key hit the other day in that win against uh, the first game of the series. So, so yeah, you know, Brett Gardner has shown, you know, great uh, plate discipline. And uh, G.R. Shell is looking a lot better. So, um, so, yeah, I'm starting to, you know, Little things that are, you know, you're noticing that hopefully that gives you hope. Again, you know, what this team has done all year is give you hope. And then um, all those fans have fallen, fallen flat on our faces and disappointment. So, so yeah, it'll be very uh, interesting to see what happens. Um, you know, again, Yankees really need this game. I, you know, like many of you and myself are hoping they do. Uh, that way... You know, take the pressure off yourself going, coming back home. You don't have to win th- all three games against the Tampa Bay Rays, which, you know, I do not like our chances if if that, you know, scenario 
presents itself. Um, so, so yeah, you know, listen, win tonight, maybe you come home and just maybe take one game. That's all you might need. So, and let's not forget the Seattle Mariners who uh, refuse to lose and kind of feel happy for them in a way, you know, they are, you know, longest uh, team with the longest uh, playoff drought. So, you know, they're, they're looking to play, even if it's just one game, the most important game they've played in 20 years. So, so definitely, uh, you know, I would like to, you know, see them get in. Of course, the Yankees are the number one uh, wild card spot, then being second, and hopefully we beating them. That's what I like to see. So, so all right, guys, uh, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to have a post game tonight. We'll see. Uh, I'll try. Uh, but uh, we definitely needed to get in here and uh, and get this uh, pregame show in uh, before uh, tonight's uh, game at 7.07 from the Rogers Center. And, um, yeah, I did mention Albert Abreu has been activated because Luke Boy went on the IL. So, you know, got to get some. Uh, the more uh, arms you have in here, the better. Um and John, speaking of arms, you know, Jonathan Loisa could look pretty good. Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't think Boone was going to go with him uh, second inning in a row there. So, so the velocity was there and he looked good. He looked sharp. So definitely a big weapon coming back that we definitely need. Listen, Clay Holmes, he's been good. He's, it's going to happen. You know, sucks. It, it did, it had to happen at that moment or really any moment around this time of year, especially with what you're, uh, trying to accomplish so but you know what it's gonna happen again I last night's game goes goes back to how the way Cole pitched which wasn't the the ace that we're uh, accustomed to seeing so and uh Kyle Higashioka starts again which he's been catching this is, is actually the fourth time he's caught Corey Kluber so you know what at this point I have no issues how giving the starting job to Kyle Higashioka Sanchez has to stay in the bench, has to, you know, get bent, and that's what we have to do. Uh, so, you know, we need uh, to tighten up that defense big time and uh, better uh, game calling. So, and, and Higashioka's proven that he could, be, uh, he could be clutch. So, I have no issues with that. And um, so, yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in for the Yankee, post, uh, Yankee pregame show. So, uh, Talk to you real soon. All right, guys. It's Dazar here. Signing off. The evil empire lives. Squad up. Take care, everyone.